All right, next question up says, uh, since I started guided programming about two months ago, my squat took a bit of a dip and it's remained stagnant until today. And then today my SMA 1RM dropped by about 20 pounds and my legs ached incredibly bad after my last ramp up set of five. I have a meet in about a month and a half. And after that, I plan to switch to performance coaching. I hate to make any big changes uh, with the meet so close, but obviously things aren't right. My question is this, should I drop my target weights by about 10% and work back up from there until the meet. Uh, I'm obviously not gonna have a good squat, uh, but I would like to at least get back to making progress instead of regressing. Yeah, I mean, that's totally understandable. You know, um, this is one of the difficulties, one of the struggles of, of guided programming is that, you know, it's a lot more difficult to get in there and look under the hood and figure out what's going on um, and obviously you're aware of that and I appreciate you, you know, acknowledging that, um, as far as what you should do, um, I think reducing the target weights and building them back up is kind of a minimum first step. The, uh, so we need to do at least that, uh, you've got a month and a half. Um, if you haven't, sent in videos already, I would definitely do that. I would recommend getting some exercises changed, most likely. Uh, we'll see if we can get those dialed in a little bit more close to uh, what we would expect to work for your your typical weaknesses and whatnot. Um, from there, you probably need to adjust uh, we may need to adjust the training volumes. You mentioned that your legs are achy and, and sore. Uh, if that's something that's typical for you, it may be prudent to just reduce the number of, of downsets that you've got. That's, I mean, think of volume as the volume on your stereo, right? Like we're playing a tune uh, with, this, with this training program and adding more volume cranks it up louder you know it increases the volume of that stimulus well if it's too much if it's causing your ears to hurt then turn the volume down and you it's still the same tune it's still the same song uh it's just at a lower volume uh, it's something that's more tolerable uh for where you're at um so if you've got that pretty consistently especially if you're looking at track and track is indicating that your fatigue is high then turning the volume down, not just on the squat, but maybe on a deadlift too, uh, that would probably be worth looking into. Um, I think that's a, a good place to start. Uh, again, it would be nice to see some videos uh, if you've got them. If you don't have them, then take them and send them in. Um, other than that, I think that would be a good start. That would be a good way to get some momentum going again. And hopefully you can start moving in the right direction at least and then as we're able to start peeling back the layers on what do you specifically respond best to uh, we'll be able to to get that taken care of for you